Howe. Welcome to Understanding China, brought to you live from the Think Tank studios in downtown Honolulu and from the offices of Asia Pacific Group, an investment firm in Beijing. I'm Michael North, and our co-host on the other end is Xiaofang Zhou North. Through this series, we're going to be speaking with key leaders throughout China, government people, business, academia, the arts, about China today, its future, its hopes and dreams, its plans in the world, and above all, about its people. We want to help our international audience to see China through Chinese eyes by talking direct to the people who are leading the largest nation in the world today. We're honored to welcome back to the program today, Lin Fan Lin from Beijing Mose, a media and translation firm based in the capital city of China. In our last program, we spoke to uh, Mr. Lin, and we wanted to spend more time with him now and get into some more detail about the One Belt, One Road policy. Now, Mr. Lin's group is working as part of the giant media company, China International Publishing Group. And they have a long history of leadership in modern China. The group was founded in 1949, shortly after China's independence, uh, by the great Chinese peacemaker, Zhou Enlai. And today, this organization uh, it encompasses a vast range of television, radio, publishing, and other media, electronic media enterprises, including the largest television network in the world, CCTV. So Mr. Lin is an authority on the subject of China's One Belt, One Road policy. And we want to explore that topic with him now in some more depth. So Fan Lin, Ni Hao. Good to see you again. Fan Lin, Lin Fan Lin, can you say hello? Are you hearing us? We have a translator uh, with us also today, Nicolas Bartiom from uh, Montreal. Nicolas, can you hear us and say hello? Okay, we need to fall back to our audio method. Um, our, we're gonna fall back to a, to a phone call and see if we can talk with the people on the, on the phone. Hello, my name is Crystal. Let me tell you, my talk show, I'm all about health. It's healthy to talk about sex. It's healthy to talk about things that people don't talk about. It's healthy to discuss things that you think are unhealthy because you need to talk about it. So I welcome you to watch Quok Talk and engage in some provocative discussions on things that do relate to healthy issues and have a well-balanced attitude in life. Join me. Hello, this is Martin Despang. I want to get you excited about my new show, which is called Humane Architecture for Hawaii and Beyond. And it's going to be on Think Tech Hawaii from downtown Honolulu on Tuesday afternoons, 5 p.m. And we're going to talk about uh, to make architecture more inclusive on the islands, which is, what, which is one of the definitions of humane, which is being tolerant of uh, you know, many people, of nature, of many other influences. So we we're going to have some great guests, like today's guest, for example, uh, my collaborator, David Rockwood, who is the author of the awesome um, manifestation of uh, humane architecture in the background. So see you on Tuesdays, 5 p.m. I look forward to. Hi, I'm Stan Energy Man, and I want you to be here every Friday. Noon, thinktechhawaii.com. Watch the show. Be there. I Aloha, my name is John Waihe, and I used to be a part of all the things that you might be angry at. I served in government here and may have made decisions that affects you. So I want to invite you in. I want to invite you in to talk story with me and some very special guests every other Monday here at Talk Story with John Wahee. Come on in, join us, express your opinion, learn more about your state, and then do something about it. Aloha. So we're speaking with Lin Fan Lin on the phone from Beijing. 
And I want to ask a question which our translator there will translate for us. And the question is, in history, there was uh, there, when the Silk Road was very powerful as a force in Chinese history. Can you describe a little bit about the Silk Road and the tradition and history behind it? Uh,丝绸之路呢,实际上是一条这个连接了中国和这个欧亚大陆的一个贸易之路。那么,丝绸之路的这个概念呢,实际上是一个德国人提出来的。就是现在人呢，我们是用丝绸这个这个这个作为我们中国的一个名片。那么丝绸之路呢，只是一个历史符号，它呃主要是这个从主要是指这个从这个呃连接这个世界的这个贸易之路。The concept of the Silk Road only appeared uh, later in the 19th century. It was actually brought forward by a uh, German scholar. Uh, nowadays, though, the Silk Road is seen more as China's business card. As a, uh, We talk of silk uh, as a symbol, a cultural symbol today, and uh, that, has been, uh, that has been revived in order to uh, so why are the leaders of China bringing back the image of the Silk Road uh, today, and what is its ultimate purpose for China and the world? Uh 自身发展的一些需求，所以说呃，中国的领导人呢会提出这样的倡议。Well，the and uh, this symbol is not only a symbol that China can identify itself with, but it's also a symbol that other countries that are also related and uh, have been part of the uh, historical Silk Road can also identify with. So it's an important symbol. So uh, what is your role personally in uh, understanding and communicating the meaning of the Silk Road? And the, what is the role of Beijing Moza in this process? 莫子公司在交流和解释和介绍这个丝绸之路和一带一路这个概念啊用世界的这个语言呢我们去介绍世界的这个文化
尤其是当代的一些这个优秀的一些一些文化和人文情况，然后介绍给世界。When it comes to the role of Mozart、uh, in introducing and explaining the、uh, revival of the Silk Road as well as the new、uh, One Belt One Road strategy,、uh, we feel it is our responsibility to introduce. Uh, these things to the outside world using、uh, languages from the outside world, from one point, and on the other hand as well to reintroduce these things to、uh, the Chinese people and to make sure that everybody uh, is uh, on、uh, a level of equality, a foot of equality.、Uh, we mostly work from the perspective of humanities and culture, and we try to select.、Uh, Outstanding、uh, cultural aspects in China that might、uh, that we think are of interest、uh, for the outside world and to、uh, help the outside world understand、uh, better understand China this way and in this fashion to、uh, tell China's story. So you're involved in the production of video and audio and conferences and translation. What are the specific activities that your group engages in? 呃，除了视频，还有音频啊，还有这个翻译啊之类的，还我们这个墨子还有什么其他活动？从还从事什么其他活动？啊、呃，我们主要是在这个呃，通过文化交流的这种形式，比如说我们会和海外的一些呃一些一些一些机构，我们会达成一些呃合作协议，比如说在当地我们会去建一些呃关于语言的这种呃交流或者是培训。呃，或者是研究中心，然后呢，通过这种形式，我们不仅是把中国的这个呃声音呃传播出去，再一个，我们也去研究当地的这些文化、当地的语言，然后用他们的这种文化和语言呢，再介绍给中国，然后把中国的这个呃好的文化融入到这个世界这个大的呃文化家庭中去。Uh, well, as Ms. Lin says,、uh, other than the things that you have aforementioned,、uh, we also do a lot in terms of cultural communication. So we will participate in、uh, conferences, in、uh, training, in、uh, meetings with、uh, representatives and delegations from、uh, outside China, and、uh, we will basically engage in what we、uh, have explained. As being cultural communication and try to,、um, well, on the first hand, explain what is China's story and what it consists in, and on the other hand, explain to the Chinese people what these delegations and representatives from outside might have、uh, to bring to the table and、uh, share with us in,、uh, in terms of this、uh, great initiative and in terms of cultural communication. Ah,、oh, very good. Uh, there is a story in、uh, the China Daily today uh, by uh, Zhang Fei. He's an associate researcher at the Chinese Academy of International Trade and Economic Cooperation at MoFCOM, the Ministry of Commerce. And there's a couple of、uh, passages from it that I would like to read and get a comment. Is is that okay, Fan Lin? I would like to read those to you. 这个一一篇文章，他要给你念一段，然后要你你评论。啊，没呃 ，no problem, sir. Okay.、Um, here's a quote. In the United States, the upcoming administration, led by Donald Trump, may pose a challenge to the country's economic policy, and along with the United Kingdom preparing to break away from、uh, from Europe. And the need to accommodate the continuing influx of refugees, the European Union now has the rise of right-wing forces to worry about. We can translate that. Yes, he said. 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 啊，又有这个难民的问题啊，也是越来越严重了。现在欧盟最担心的一个点是什么？就是这个呃呃，右派极端人员啊的这个，它是一个比较担心的问题。然后，请请问怎么看这个事情 ？Okay, I will go on and then ask for a comment. 
But even as Western decision makers retreat from globalization and shift their focus to domestic issues, China is pursuing and upholding more open and inclusive cross-border trade. A participant and major beneficiary of globalization, China is now the leading advocate of sustainable economic globalization. So, uh, Mr. Mr. Fan Lin, I would like to have your comment on this on this quote from China Daily. And this is from Zhang Fei at Mofcom. Uh 中国人在这个点上普遍的看法我觉得可能大部分跟我一样国内的这种情况嗯, uh, Mr. Lin said that, uh, well, first of all, I can only speak for myself on this uh, issue, but even uh, even as, as this is, I think that most Chinese people would agree that uh, these uh, initiatives, uh, well, initiatives such as the uh, Belt and Road Initiative, uh, have a, has a starting point the uh, domestic situation in China right now. Uh, of course, in terms of economic development, uh, China uh, has, or in terms of ge development in general, China has high points and uh, has also uh, aspects in which maybe it has lost a certain balance. And this is why it has continuously kept uh, deepening uh, its uh, will to reform and its to reform itself. Uh, when it comes to other countries, obviously, uh, China is not really in a position to make that strong of uh, comments about the rate of uh, their development. Uh, this is why we speak mostly of uh, China. We have a saying in China, basically, uh, that could translate to, we will wait and see. Uh, but basically, this is uh, what we are doing here in China. Uh, we are observing countries uh, and their development, and we are trying to see how their development can be incorporated uh, in with our development or the other way around also how everybody's development can be incorporated together so that all countries may uh, benefit and become stronger from uh, such an, initi an initiative and uh, endeavor. Well, China is definitely being very active in this way. Um, not just sitting and waiting and seeing, but um, the commitments that China has made with the, with the many partners that it has in up to 60 nations around the world um, amount to as much as a trillion dollars worth of Chinese investment in infrastructure. 
Um, I'll give you one example if you and ask if, if you okay. heard of this. Maybe I'll give you two examples. Let's translate okay. that and go forward. No, that's okay. I've been translating as you've been speaking, so that's great. Oh, okay. So one example is uh, China has put a tremendous amount of, invest of investment into Greece. There's a port uh, near Athens called Piraeus, and China is helping to create a new high productivity deep water port in Piraeus that's been needed literally for centuries. And China is very actively involved in that. I wonder if, uh, if uh, Fan Lin is also familiar with that project. I've heard about this project, yes. Uh 然后呢，同时呢，呃，对全世界来说，对中国，当然对中国来说也比较重要，就是说，呃，它是可以作为一个中国的货物进入欧洲的一个一个一个入口，因为呃，希腊的这个港口刚好就是对接上了我们呃说
by most investors, including Greek investors themselves, because of their economic and political issues. I find it very interesting that China is not sitting back. China is moving forward and and uh, participating fully in, in, in rebuilding Greece and their economy. Uh, well, it's as our prime minister, uh, our prime minister once said that uh, the idea is to be able to live in a harmony in, in this world. And uh, well, China since uh, since the birth of the new China, basically in '49, China has been uh, developing itself and focusing on its own development. And uh, now it's also become interested in the development of other developing countries. And uh, the goal in this is not to. Uh, uh, let any anybody fall behind, but rather to uh, try to find a way to uh, uh, share the benefits of all uh, uh, this development, and uh, well, achieve this ideal that this ideal goal that we have to be living in a world in harmony where everybody develops uh, their own countries uh, hand in hand. Well, this is actually very similar to the development philosophy, the international development philosophy of the United States, which we've been trying to practice to share prosperity and technology and people uh, with uh, all the countries of the world, um, especially since World War II. So I must say that it is uh, truly inspiring at this time to see China joining America in their role in international development and what America and China can do together could be very exciting. Uh, 确实它的在国际上发挥着一定的这个影响力 中国的经济实力的增强 Thank well, you very much, Lin Fan Lin. We, we need to move on. I, we'll close this and we'll take this uh, subject up again in the next program and go even deeper. Aloha from Honolulu to Beijing.